Hey everyone, it's Chris. And it's Jenny. We're Pacific Rim Video and we are here with Korean FX. What's up, what's up? Pleasure to be here. Yes. All right, so tell us about your experience. Is this your first vibe? This is my first vibe. I'm actually from uh, Toronto, Canada, but uh, I was here performing with my friend Mike Song. And uh, it was a great experience, you know, the crowd is great, the whole, the whole production is cool, um, everyone's so nice. Yeah, just overall great experience. Now let's talk about how this blew up. So first you shot with John, you guys put it online and it gets um, over a million views. Then uh, Ellen sees it, has you guys come on the show, you performed at the Watt Awards, now you're here at Vibe. I mean, when you guys were doing it, did you ever think that it would get to this level? I mean, like, I guess there's that hope in the back of your mind that it'll pop off, um, but I wasn't really expecting it to. I mean, I was expecting it to garner a little bit of attention just because Mike's song is so highly regarded in the dance community. And um, I'm just very excited and happy to see where this goes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's blown up. And we're here at Vibe today, and they just performed it live. It was a lot of fun, too. Yes. All right, and what's coming up next for you? Where can we find you next? Um, you can uh, hit me up on Facebook, facebook facebook.com slash KRNFX, at KRNFX on Twitter. Um, basically, I just got a bunch of shows. I'm going on tour in Europe next month. Wow. And uh, keep your eyes peeled on your TV for some stuff. Hopefully. And when did you first find out, like, yo, I can beatbox and I, I can... Because, you know, some people think they can, but you can really do it. So when was the first time that you were like, wow, I'm really good at this? Oh, geez. Uh, I've been doing this for over 13 years now. Wow. So... Um, I guess like when I was really young, I would kind of just imitate my dad playing the piano and singing, and that's kind of where my musicality came from. And then I heard Rozelle beatboxing, and yeah. I was just blown away. He did that whole picture, you know that joint right there. And after that, I was just completely blown away and enticed and just enthralled in beatboxing. And then a few years later, I learned how to play the drums, and so that kind of rekindled my uh, just love for music and rhythm and beats. And so yeah, that's kind of how I came to beatbox, and here I am now in LA. And I want to know too, do you ever do like sound effects in your daily life? Like you're driving and you're like, um, um, ear, 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 <laughs> like you turn, you order food. It, like do it definitely just comes out randomly sometimes. It's kind of like a language to me. So it's not really, yeah, it's just a part of me now. So it's all the time I'm beatboxing, making sounds, trying to figure out new techniques and all that stuff. Well, I have an idea. We're going to say goodbye. And can you like beatbox in the background while we say goodbye? Yeah, sure. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, it's Chris. And we had an amazing time interviewing Korean Effects for Pacific Rim Video. He is here at Vibe, and they just held it down, right? And yes, my song. Definitely. So make sure you check oh. them out. Yes, check out Korean Effects. He's going on tour. And uh, check this guy out. And there's Mike's song, the guy he just danced with. Or just danced for. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right. Bye, Vibe. Thanks, guys.